Hey there, this is Mr. Pi, and we're going to finish up this lesson 10-6, Circles and Arcs from Prentice Hall Geometry. This is part 5, and I'm Mr. Pi. Let's get this party started. The measure of an arc is in degrees, while the arc length is a fraction of the circle circumference. So the measure of an arc, or the arc length, is measured in whatever the measure of the circle is in. An arc of 60 degrees represents 60 out of 360 degrees, or one-sixth of the circle. Its arc length is one-sixth the circumference of the circle. This suggests the following theorem, which is the arc length theorem. Theorem 1010. The length of an arc of a circle is the product of the ratio, measure of the arc to 360 degrees, and the circumference of the circle. This is a product. So we're going to be multiplying two things here. And the first thing we're going to be multiplying by is this ratio, which is this right here. This ratio right here. Now, this is the measure of the arc that you're trying to find the length of the arc of. And this is the circumference of the circle. This is a ratio or a fraction times the circumference of the circle. So let's see how this arc length theorem works with an example. Example 5T. Find the length of arc ABB. In circle M, in terms of pi, this will be important later, in terms of pi. We're not going to be approximating it. We're going to leave it in terms of pi, which is more exact. First thing I like to do is identify arc ADB on the diagram. And that's pretty easy. It's the major arc highlighted in red. I'm going around and coloring the points blue. Now, we don't have the measure of that arc, but we do have the measure of its related minor arc. So first, we need to find the measure of arc a, D, B. And we can do that by subtracting the measure of arc A, B from 360 degrees because this is the related minor arc to arc A, D, B. And we'll just write that out. And that would be arc, not angle. A, arc A, B substituting the 150 in. And put the degrees on those. That will give us 210 degrees. So the measure of arc ADB is going to be 210 degrees. So we'll apply that to the arc length theorem which would tell us that the length of arc ADB is going to be equal to the measure of arc ADB over 360 times 2 times pi times the radius. Remember, we're going to leave this in terms of pi, so we're not going to put 3.14 in for that. The measure of Arc ADB is 210 degrees over 360 degrees. And we're going to multiply that by 2 times the radius, which is 18 centimeters, times pi. When you go ahead and run that through by reducing this, or running it through your calculator, it's going to give you 21 pi. To run this through your calculator, you do 210 divided by 360 times 2 times 18. Just tack the pi on at the end. Don't use 3.14 or the pi button on your calculator. You could also reduce this fraction. The zeros will knock off because we can divide each one of those by 10. And then we reduce 21 over 36 if we need to. 3 goes into both of those, 3 goes into 21 7 times, and 3 goes into 36 12 times. And then we can cancel, if we put these over 1, you can, you don't have to. We can divide a 6 into the 12 2 times. We can divide a 6 into the 18 3 times. And then we can cancel these 2s and take 7 times 3 to give us 21 and bring the pi along. So. There's another way to do it. Instead of using your calculator, you can use some simple arithmetic and reducing this fraction and multiplying a fraction and some whole numbers. 
This is Mr. Pi working with the arc length theorem, theorem 1010 in the Prentice Hall Geometry series. I hope you've enjoyed this series of video lessons on circles and arcs.